Hey, I'm Walt K4OGO. Today I'm on the Virginia Beach side, the Atlantic side of Virginia Beach, a little beach called Croatan that I love coming to. Today I thought I would investigate and talk about something that's really not talked about enough. And that's RF ground planes at the beach. Basically counterpoise wires, how to use them, what to do, and, uh, and how they work somewhat. So stick around. Let me preface this video by saying one thing. This is just my way of doing this in the way that I set up and the way I put counterpoise by the, by the ocean in the water and operate portable. So um, with that said, there, there probably are better ways. There are other ways, but I'm just gonna show you my way that really works for me. One of the things I do to keep these uh, wires stationary because the surf will kick them everywhere is I use fishing weights, basically nice three ounce fishing weights. And I use 16 gauge speaker wire for my counterpoise wires. What I do at the end, I tie it off, as you can see, tie it on the weight, and I expose the, about an inch and a half of the copper wire so it can conduct into the salt water. Most of the time I use my Zygu G90 because it's 20 watts, it gets me a lot of power. I, I say a lot of power for, for low power uh, portable ops. It's a great radio, I love it. I have a 6 amp hour uh, LiPo 4 battery and then about a 25 foot coax and here's how I'm setting up today my ground plane today. What I do, the speaker wires, is I do them in, in two parts. So when you split the wire, you have two wires, I hook them each to one alligator clip and as you can see, they're in pairs. So today I'm using six, a lot of times I'll use four. I thought today I'd use six counterpoise wires in this uh, setup here. I'm also using a new toy I just got. It's the slide winder coil from M1, uh, I believe it's uh, ECC in the UK. Better check on that anyway. With a man pack uh, portable whip. So that's the setup. As you see with the six wires, one thing about counterpoise wires on the beach. You want to get as much out of the conductivity with the salt water as possible. I don't have these in a 360 all around me setup and as you can see the salt water there coming across the top of them. What I do is strategically aim my counterpoise wires. It's been said that you know if you use one and shown it's directional. So I kind of set mine up directional as well. So these two here are somewhat pointed to Scandinavia and Europe. I've got one that's basically into Africa. One that's down the Atlantic just in case I got lucky and did a long path around to VK land. These two are in the Caribbean and South America. So that's kind of my thought pattern is what the way I have my counterpoise wires positioned. And best of all, the best counterpoise wire of the whole setup is the coax and this thing is leading directly west right into the continental United States. Let's go on and uh, fire this thing up and see what happens. One thing I didn't mention there is these counterpoise wires are five meters long or basically 16 and a half feet. With that setup I was talking into Europe with ease and one cool thing I did was made a contact at 20 watts and then we took it down to one watt. Here it is check it out. Uh, number four, Charlie Oscar Mike. Uh, Papa India four, Charlie Oscar Mike into 15. Kilo four, Oscar Golf Oscar. Uh, kilo four, Ocean Germany Ocean. Thank you very much for your call. You're five nine. Uh, QSL, you're five nine. I'm portable. Just 20 watts on the beach in Virginia Beach, Virginia, USA. Okay, fantastic. Portable on the beach. Uh, what is your radio? I've got the Zygu G90. I've got it running to a slide winder coil um, and a military uh, collapsible military whip. And I'm on the beach with six counterpoise wires right into the Atlantic Ocean. QSL, you're real five and nine here. But the antenna on this side is a six element opti beam. Six element opti beam. Power. I give you a single replay. 
Over. Uh, QSL, give me one second and I'll do that. Okay, I'm at one watt, one watt if you can hear me. Yeah, no problem, five and three, five and three with one watt over. Uh, QSL, thanks for doing this, it's awesome. I'd like to see what it's doing. What is your exact QTH? Okay, we are in Rotterdam, Rotterdam, here, yeah, western part of the Netherlands, Europe. Uh, QSL, QSL, thanks for taking my call. I am in the southeast corner of Virginia, I'm almost in North Carolina, right on the beach on the Atlantic coast. Okay, you're in a fantastic location. Okay, bring the power back to 20 watts and then you can work more here in Europe. Thank you so much for your call and enjoy your uh, activity there on the beach. Kilo 4, Ocean, Germany, Ocean Stroke, Portable, Papa India 4, Charlie, Oscar Mike, 73. Thank you so much in 73, my friend. Thank you. This is Papa India 4, Charlie, Oscar Mike. Perfect. As I stated in this setup, one of those counterpoise I had directly down through the Atlantic, hoping that maybe one day I'd get a long path to Australia. Well, this morning is 8.30 when I set up and the VKs were coming in. I was getting stepped on on the pileups, but at least I could hear them. Here's an example of the reception I was getting from Australia. There you have it. It's really all about the counterpoise. A good ground system, a good RF ground plane by the ocean. You can really, you can do some wonderful things. I can only imagine if you came out here with some power. I think I might have to try that sometime. Uh, I think the most I've ever worked on the beach is uh, 20 watts. Normally that's what I use. A lot of times I've been out here with five watts with my uh, little five watt uh, QRP rig, but um, man, one watt, one watt across the Atlantic Ocean today with, uh, with this, this uh, ground playing system, these counterpoise wires, it's pretty cool. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, ring the bell. And uh, until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO. 73, my friends. See you soon.